You're listening to the European Parliamentary Research Service podcast on electric cars. As oil becomes scarce and expensive, electric cars are increasingly seen as a way to help save petrol and maybe the planet too. But like almost everything in life, they come with pros and cons. Stay with us. Imagine never going to a petrol station again. Imagine that pulling into your garage or driveway and plugging into the nearest socket is all it takes to refill your car. This is possible with an electric car where electricity is stored in a battery and used to drive an electric motor, which means lower running costs, lower greenhouse gas emissions and less noise pollution than regular cars which use internal combustion engines. And even if electric cars have higher manufacturing emissions than normal cars, the reduced emissions whilst driving still give them a greener score. So why aren't we all driving electric cars? Well, there are still some technical challenges preventing their widespread uptake, notably the driving range between charges, long charging times and costly production. The major problem electric cars face is that batteries are big and heavy, so only a few of them can be installed. However, car makers are pouring big money into developing new battery technologies, which could solve the current limitations. But there are other problems to consider. If electric cars were to go mainstream, the demand for electricity would increase substantially, which could strain the electric grid. And lower demand for petrol could cause a crash in oil prices. If every adult man and woman was to drive an electric car in the future, the supply of lithium used for electric batteries and motors could also become a serious challenge. But despite these challenges, battery-powered electric cars are still the most promising alternative to conventional cars. 21 EU countries are already offering financial incentives to accelerate the transition to green motors, but an EU-wide incentive and more public investments to develop a network of charging stations would definitely give it an extra push. So there's still work to do, but also a few doubts that once electric cars conquer the roads, it'll certainly be a win-win for all. You're listening to the European Parliamentary Research Service podcasts.